Hi, I'm Jace. Um, I'm a student here at Lookup Flight Academy. I'm a graduate of Elizabeth City State University where I study aviation science and flight education. I've been on a flight journey for, I want to say, since I was 16 years old. At Elizabeth City State University, um, I started my initial flight training in 2020, and then I followed up my flight training here at Lookup Flight Academy in 2023 and I'm looking to be completed with my flight training by September. When I was 16, I started to get into aviation. I initially attended an aviation summer camp, and then from there I was just intrigued with aircrafts and all different things revolving in the air. From then, you know, I got my first flight at 16. I was the only person I knew that wanted to fly. Uh, I didn't know anybody who was interested in flying, didn't know where to start, and so uh, I just, continue to network with people, get in contact with people, making all types of calls just to learn about how I can fly, who I can talk to about getting even started. I had got contacted with Piedmont Airlines and they wanted to hire me, but I had no hours. And so I was trying to just start at any point in time. Um, and so then once I got into college, and started my journey there. I got to learn the ins and outs of the aviation field. Got to just learn various business aspects of aviation, also as the flight education portion, and really like just learning how to fly the basics of aerodynamics and things of that nature. When COVID happened, it just slowed my training up so much and I wasn't living in the area. And so when that happened, I was just back like six months, no flying, no time in the plane. And so when that happened, I just came back to school, got back into the flight training again. But that just also took a toll on like trying to get back into the game officially, you know? And so I felt like coming here, I could dedicate nine months of my time to complete the program, you know, just so I could be where I want to be. I graduated in 2022 and I was looking to, to get into so much more. I had just got my aviation degree. At that time, I was kind of discouraged to fly again just because of my previous experience at Elizabeth City and you know uh, COVID-19. I didn't feel as confident. But then once I graduated, I got into drones, got into that airspace of things. And so that was just a whole different experience. Learning to do drone photography, I actually started a business doing drone um, photography. And then I transitioned into becoming a manager at an airport for a company um, providing wheelchair services. And then I still wanted more after that. A couple months went by, and I believe it was around October, November, and I kept seeing videos of the flight school and the aircraft that they had, and I never had seen any aircraft uh, like this, which is the sling. I was very interested from then, and then uh, I believe in November, I did my first test flight on well, my first discovery flight here. And um, I really was just intrigued by the systems, uh, just how advanced this is, because this is a next gen trainer. And when it says next gen, it's, it's next gen. It has everything you need to transition into the airlines or just to further your career into the big field. So I started flying Cessna 172s. Never have been in that plane ever. My first initial flight, was in a diamond light sport aircraft. So um, that was my initial flight. When I got into the Cessna, it was very different. It was very old. I like old stuff, I like new stuff. It was still working, obviously. So my experience in those planes were, you know, really good. I, I do miss them at times, you know, but I would say compared to the sling, you're not getting the same type of, you know, avionics and things of that nature just because those aircraft are much older and you have the six pack steam gauges, which are nice to learn on. But if you're planning to transition into the airlines, it's better to go ahead and be familiar with the systems here. Um, some of my career goals, I would say right now, I'm looking into the airlines first, but I would eventually want to venture out into doing firefighting, using different aircrafts and, you know, um, using just emergency management flying though. Also, I would like to get into corporate flying as well. But my short term goals for now is just to get through the ratings uh, as fast as I can, but being efficient and proficient with all the information um, and 
just doing it as fast as I can so I can actually get out here and start to be a C become a CFI. Um, and from that point, you know, really just begin that transition into the airlines. I would tell someone that's kind of iffy on the fence about flying to just find somewhere you can do a discovery flight and just step into it. I share my videos all the time of me flying and people are so interested, but they're scared. They don't think they're capable. I feel like anyone's capable if you just put your mind to it, really just work hard grind it out just because I came from a place where I didn't feel like I was capable. People around me didn't see as big as I did and I was able to just continue grinding it out to get to where I'm at now.